the students assalamu alaikum hope you are fine with the grace of almighty allah and enjoying good health um mohammed khalid and we are going to have a discussion about western political thoughts it is week 11 lesson 21 and 22 and our uh, today's personality and the political philosopher is george wilhelm frederick hegel george wilhelm frederick hegel in our this is the picture of george wilhelm frederick hegel in this discussion we'll discuss the biography of hegel hegelian dialectics hegel's philosophy of state freedom theory of idealism and little bit criticism on the theory of idealism well <clears throat> in this video let me give a brief biography of frederick hegel george william frederick hegel was a distinguished capable visionary and practical political thinker of the 19th century he born in germany in 1770 just like rousseau hegel couldn't enjoy the life because of the inadequacies and <clears throat> social problems his uh, childhood was full of miseries and troubles anyhow he was more capable and realistic than rousseau he acquired his earlier education in a latin school later on he was <clears throat> admissioned in a religious school but he disliked religion and preferred greek literature and philosophy he studied the philosophy of the greek scholars deeply and <clears throat> from university of tibing he doctorated in philosophy phd in philosophy after having excelled in philosophy he concluded that philosophy can open you to a limited knowledge means <clears throat> philosophy can simply uh, expose you to a limited knowledge anyhow after the demise of his father he went to prussia as is one of the first friend invited him but later on <clears throat> soon napoleon attacked prussia and hegel had to flee to bavaria a province of germany he was appointed as a headmaster in konorbank academy he worked as many years there and in the last age he was <clears throat> appointed as a responsible person in berlin university I mean he was given opportunity to work in the berlin university in 1831 hegel caught in cholera and died in berlin hegel 
was a genuine representative of the German idealism. He was impressed from Plato and Aristotle in philosophy. His writing dissertations or writing efforts were impressed and they were the best projection and mixture of Vico, Montesquieu, Kant and Nietzsche. Hegel believed in dialectical study of the history. Clear? Dialectical to him, history is an evolutionary process. Dialectic study or history is an evolutionary process means that there are many theories. Fine. We'll uh, later on discuss these points in detail. Hegel wrote or authored many books. One of the the main books I will <coughs> uh, tell you. Number one, Phenomenology of Mind, 1807, Encyclopedia of Philosophical Science, 1870, Science of Logic, fine, Philosophy of Rights in 1821, and philosophy of history. Hegel is renowned to have expressed and introduced so many new theories in the field of philosophy. These contributions include the <coughs> uh, theory of evolution, evolution German idealism and dialectic theory is the excellent. He made <clears throat> an excellent conclusion about the human history and government that all the human histories and government actually is the saga of national cultures, national dominance, nation-based dominance on the other nations and on the other cultures. In simple words, Usne ye kaha hai ke tarikh-e insani jo hai, iska jo asal raaz hai, वो एक कौम की दूसरे कौम के ऊपर सकाफती और हर लिहाज से गलबा हासिल करना एक कौम का कल्चर का सकाफत का दूसरे कौमों के ऊपर कल्चरों के ऊपर सकाफत पर गलबा हासिल कर लेना दिस इज व्हाट इज द एवोल्यूशनरी प्रोसेस ऑफ इमर्जिंग स्टेट्स एंड न्यू लॉज एंड अदर थिंग्स फाइन Hegel believed this that a nation state is the height of human intellect, vision and practical. He says, claims that a state is March is the projection of God on this material world that whatever the rules and regulations and demands that Allah wishes to have applied on the people actually are applied by the form the, by the uh, state fine uh, Hegel has another distinction that he was a champion of utilitarianism and totalitarianism. Fine. These are the two philosophical 
and political concepts <coughs> which are emerged and practiced i hope this that you might have learned the history of george william frederick hegel following points are important he was german he couldn't enjoy his earlier life he was impressed in philosophy from aristotle and plato he believed that state and history is a natural process and it is the uh it is the conflict between the nation states and the cultures and it is also the story of the dominance over the others thank you very much